this should be working. Should. We will know once I've finished talking and I go and check and see what's been recorded. This is off to a bad start already. I su I'm supposed to say, hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. Uh, it's been a while. It's It's been, how long has it been actually? Has it, has it been a couple of weeks? I think it's been, has it been two, two, the, the tw holy, oh no, that's, it's been a while. Uh, I, I humbly, I, how does that go? I humbly apologise. Um, things have been, do, do, do you know, life is kind of like that for most people. That's normal. You have your ups and downs. Um, recently, it's just been, it's just been shit. Uh, but uh, that that's why I've not actually been doing much in the way of reviews and and vlogs and 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 stuff. Just life. Um, still smiling. That's the drugs. <laughs> vaping. <laughs> what's, what's been happening vaping wise? Right. Uh, I, I'm, this is off the cuff. Uh, this is off the cuff. I, I'm just, I had a spare half hour. So I thought I'll just fire up this. This is the normal setup I have when I do my little uh, vlogs in my Facebook group. Uh, this is the setup I use, which is uh, we have a webcam there. We have a webcam there, uh, we have another webcam here, and then we have the screen share. But uh, it's the sound possibly isn't the best, and the video quality is possibly just as bad as you're used to. <laughs> uh, I'll start off with videos that I have done since my last uh, vlog, which was back in, in the 12th of April. Holy crap. Right. Um, we had this, where's it gone? It's here, because I'm still using it, because I like it. Um, the Riviera by Haku Engineering, um, made by a very nice man. It's my boss. Uh, no, yes, kind of, yes. Um, anyway, by Haku Engineering. Uh, once again, it's an RDTA. I don't like RDTAs as a general rule of thumb, but I like this one. Um, it wicks well with cotton. I don't have to use mesh straws. Uh, I like the airflow adjustment and I like the way it vapes. So I like it. Uh, it's actually quite good. In other news, um, relating to this, uh, this is a prototype, but I will have a serial number 0000001. I will have number one in my mucky paws uh, very, very, the plane, the plane, uh, very, very soon. Um, and that shall be going up uh, for this month's charity raffle. Uh, so it will be the Riviera number one. And I will, I will. I will give the relevant thank yous to the relevant people for making that happen. Um, you know who you are, but uh, well, yeah, I'll say that till then. Uh, I'm still getting over my cold, so I, excuse me if I sniff and I cough. Even as I say that, I can hear my dad's voice saying, blow your nose. Um, do you remember that? Do you, ever, do you ever have moments like, I still remember, I can hear my dad's voice when I was a kid. Stop scuffing your feet. That's another good one. And blow your nose. Anyway, other vaping things. The charity raffle, um, which is finished for last month, uh, I just posted off the prizes. I feel bad about that. Um, I just posted the prizes off. I've emailed the winner and I've told them and, and he's okay with it, which is good, but it, it was really bad of me uh, not to get them posted out quicker. Uh, insane. Yeah, that was a week. That was a week. That was too long. Um, the Amer Point stuff that I reviewed. Um, I've still got all the gear. I haven't let the gear go. I'm still using it, so I like that. Um, the 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 most the whole MOSFET five ten thing. I don't know if that's a conversation for another day. For me, as as somebody that likes mech mods 
I, I mean, I'm, I'm vaping with um, a sat burn here just now. I'm vaping with my sat burn that way. Whoa, dead, bro. Yes, uh, which is a pure make. Um, I have, like, I've got my my smuggler. I've got my smuggler here, uh, which I really, really like. Um, and I've got my my old boy, uh, which is here. And uh, I really like mechs. Do you need a MOSFET? I don't know. I have lots of MOSFET mods. I have lots of MOSFET mods. And for some reason, I don't seem to have an issue with them in my head. In squonkers and, and things like that. But in tube mods? I don't know. I really don't know. I'd be curious to see what you think. Stick a comment. Stick a comment down below. Um, excuse me while I... I get my posh coffee. Um, thank you to the the coffee the coffee godfather for giving me that coffee machine. Right. Um, I'll actually have to. We'll have the Riviera for the a raffle prize. I'll have to get a nice mod to go with it. I'll need. I'll need to chuck. I'll. I'll need to. I'll need to pair it up with something that will will make it really attractive um I'll, I'll sort something out i'll sort something out um i did a review for the old boy by no name mods um once again um where to go there it went there i uh, i like this and simple as that uh, i like this and I, I stand by everything i said in the review uh, i still maintain that um fire it from here and it's great, no issues with it. Fire it from here, and it's a bit, it's not quite as nice. Uh, but, it's still a beautiful mod. Absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, we then had the Frenzy, yes I did a pod system. Oh, I did a pod system. Strangely enough, I'm still actually using it. Um, I know a lot of people were, it's a clone, it's a clone! Um, uh, no, it's not a clone, really. It's not. Yes, it's kind of the same shape, and and yes, it uses a tank, but um, it's it, it, it's different. A clone. Remember, a clo clones are yeah, a clone is something trying to be exactly the same, pass for something else, which this is not. Um, I love the air coming through underneath the coil. I think it gives better flavour. Uh, I think the coils are better than the Lost Vape pods. It's, yeah, I think it's just better. Sorry. Anyway, um, I then also did the Kelpie RTA by... Um, <laughs> that upset so many people, that. Vape drama. That makes the world go round. Um... If you are interested in the Kelpie RTA, as I did say in the review, I thought it was a very good RTA. I didn't think it was reinventing the wheel. It was kind of... I know people go on about it being like the Kylan and, and all this kind of... I'm not interested. Um, I thought it was a good RTA. Uh, in the comments, uh, people have posted the screws and where you can order them from if you want to get your own ones. It's not ideal... Uh, they should actually be that you know EH Pro should be contacting customers and making them available for free but uh, yeah there you go uh, the S Atti RDA by Stellar Mods which I just did a review for uh, I, I can't here we go just to make this clear right this little thing I just did a review for this is it fully open compared to compared to uh, where did you go there you are the NVIDIA, not the Inv NVIDIA, NVIDIA, I always get it wrong, oh god, I'm so sorry, Carol, um, this, it's so tight, even compared to this, which is a very restricted direct lung, fully open, this is restricted, and uh, I got it wrong in the review. I said they were 1.5 millimeter air holes. They were in fact 1.3 millimeter air holes. Um, so you can close it down to one air hole open on each side. So that's two 1.3 mil air holes, 
which technically, technically speaking, should not be mouth to lung. It is. You can mouth to lung with this very, very easily and you will get a true and proper mouth to lung from it. No issue at all. Uh, so yes, just to, to make that clear, it is very restricted. Um, in fact, I would fully open, I would call that mouth to lung these days. Oh, somebody's giving it welly. Um, did you hear the exhaust? Anyway, that's all the reviews I've done. Um, did I tell you I bought another car? That's got nothing to do with vaping. I fancied something. There's nothing to do with vaping. Um, I, I, I took a, as I approach my, my midlife crisis, some may say that has been going on for the past 25 years. Uh, I'm 50 in a couple of months. Um, I had it in my head. I wanted, I've said this already. I wanted a Porsche 911, then it was a Boxster, then it was a, a this and a that and a this and a that. And uh, and I actually ended up, what did I, do? oh, where is it? Have I got a Poto? A, a Poto? Do I have a Poto? I really hope I have a Poto here. Um, it's, yeah, that, that's close. No, that's a crappy photo. That's bad photo, Todd. Bad photo. Um, I do, on, honestly, stick with me. Don't go away, please. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'll show you that one. Um, there we go. Um, boom. No, 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 that one. Yeah, um, that, so I went down south and I picked up uh, an old, uh, this is an old Nissan 350Z Roadster. Um, so that is, that's, that's the new toy. Um, I'll, I'll play with it for a few months over the summer, get some miles on, under it, and then I'll, I'll sell it on for winter. Uh, I'll have my fun and, and that'll do. Um, I need shot. I, I, I vowed I would never go back down this road again playing about with cars, but um, I've only had it in the driveway. I think I've only taken it out once since I drove it home, and I'm already right ordering spacers, gear knobs, spoilers, and, and all that crap that I swore I would never do again. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> right. Vaping stuff. Um, other vaping things, what can I tell you about? This arrived today. <laughs> Uh, actually, let's see if this works. I'll, I'll, do I need a light here? Um, I'm just contacting my technical department. Hopefully, this will work. Uh, I, I don't. Those of you that watch my vlogs will know that I don't have much success. Oh, look at the lip gunk in that. That's disgusting. I'm really, really sorry. Um, this is the Kill It Customs. This is the the, the Air Lab RM remastered. Um, it's, oh, I can't show you, don't, don't look up there, okay? So this is it here. I'll do a review for it very, very soon. Um, I'll show you the deck. Hopefully that shows up. It's a, a, a very, very simple build I've got in there just now. Um, I really, really like the last Air Lab. Um, I thought it was a very, very good RDA. And this would appear to be, from memory, uh, much the same. Uh, the draw fully open, very restricted direct lung, very restricted direct lung. Um, you can change it out. You can change the posts out uh, and get more air. I've not done that yet because this just arrived today. But um, in the time I've been using it, it's very enjoyable. Um, so a review for that shall be coming. Um, I do have to do something. We have justice for TJ. Do you see him standing up here? Here he comes. Hang on. Can I help you? No, on this side, other side, I see ya. I just, hang on, wait a minute. No, this side. Look, yes, we've got sweeties. <gasps> sweeties. There you go. <laughs> and he's off. There you go. Tell me, 
do you watch any other vape related shows where you get to see a spaniel's arse you do in this one um right other things that have been uh, happening where's it going i am vaping away with this i'll be doing a review for this very very soon uh this is the la dripper uh, la dripper um and and more lip gunk and more dog hair i'm really really sorry but uh, i am vaping with it um this is uh once again this is I said this in the S Atty review. You really have to be some kind of moron to make a bad RDA these days. You really do. I, I, I mean, it's get the airflow right and the post right, and you're on to a winner. Uh, and and this is this is I'm fair enjoying this. I'm fair enjoying it. Um. So there'll be a review for that coming, La Dripper. Um, <laughs> oh, this arrived. Forgot to tell you I had this. Um, remember these? Remember this? This was the, the 21700 Fakir's Mods uh, Illusia. Sorry till I read the, the Illusia Mech. Was that what? Oh, yeah. Illusia Mech. That's what it was called. Well, um, we're going to play a game of Near and Far Away. <laughs> they look the same size but they're not really uh, where am I? I'm going this way this one here this is a 14500 it's got a 14500 battery in it this one takes a 21700 um, they now have 18350 and 18500 versions you can buy them from um the Fakir's Mods website. Uh, I also know that uh, young Rob at uh, steamisland.com uh, got them in today. Uh, he didn't get the 40, I don't think he got the 14500. I don't blame him actually. I would have gone for. I think the 18350 would be the best one to go for if you want something small. The 14500, I mean, you're looking at 600, 700 milliamp hour batteries. Um, they really do not last long at all. Uh, whereas the modern 18350 ones, you know, they are about, about 1000 milliamp hour, which is not far off. Well, it's about the same as you would get with one of these pod systems. Um, so Steam Island uh, and also Fakirs. But also the this is their new Atti as well. This is a mouth to lung, the mouth to lung Ion S, fully open. It's mouth to lung. No, I've not got a battery in it. Hang on. We have batteries here. 14500. I had to go and buy some new ones because um, it's been that long since I've had a 14500. Uh, I try to remember what that. I think it was 14650s was the last ones I had. Uh, but. Here we go. I've got a, what have I got, a 0 0.8 ohm coil in that, I think I've got. Uh, much enjoying. Much enjoying? Yes, enjoying much, I am. I've got a bit of a rattle going on there. Why have I got a rattle? That's it, it's gone now. Right. Um, stop sniffing. Uh, other things. There are other things that I have to show you. There is. <gasps> right. Oh, um... Did I mention this one last time? Uh, uh, oh God, time! I've forgotten the name of the site, the group again. Uh, it's in my last. It's in my. It's in my last video. I put it in. It's mods. Mods from the man cave, or man cave mods. Ah, uh, born in the man cave. Born in the man cave. Uh, this is um, an 18650 squonker. It takes one of the, the big boy, the, the monster skunk bottles, so you've got about 10 mil in there. It's got one of the, I'm sure it's one of the mod maker click fets, is it? Or switch fets, or I, I'm, I'm possibly offending somebody there. I can't remember which one it is, so you got an LED, five clicks on and off. But this is a 3D print. Now, 
Tim sent me one of these originally, his first first or second version, and and it was he had some interesting ideas, but um, it, it wasn't the best. I didn't think it was the best. Personally, I didn't. And I gave constructive feedback, as did a lot of people in my Facebook group. And um, so he came back with this. And I think he's going to be about £80, I think, for this. But he's he's done a really nice job in it. I mean, he's got this just slides off like that. You get in at your bottle. Um, f the print quality is bang on. And this is... I don't mean to sound... I'm not, I'm not being rude when I say this. This is a great beater. I mean, I don't know what... He told me what filament he's using, but it doesn't feel like a hard plastic, like a normal 3D print. It almost feels like a soft rubber. Um, it almost, ha also almost has a bounce to it. Um, and, it and it really... He's done a great job in it. So... Go and check Born in the Man Cave Facebook group. Uh, you'll find out more there. Uh, but um, yes, thoroughly enjoying this. I've still got. Yeah, I did take the battery out. I was using that earlier. Um, other things. Other things. Um, <gasps> yes, I cried at Endgame. Forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a long film. I fair enjoyed it though. Uh, the the new Avengers film. I fair enjoyed it. Um anyway, that that was that. Um What else have we been watching? Not my what uh, Game of Thrones, new Game of Thrones season, which is really, really good. Uh I'll not say any spoilers. Um I'm gutted that the Star Trek Discovery is now finished because it was Brilliant. Did you see the last episode? If you watched the last episode, it was better than any of the recent Star Wars films for a sat for a space battle. It was edge of your seat stuff. Tremendous. Um and that's about it. I am watching other stuff, but uh, I can't remember what it's called or if it's interesting or not. I just watch what I'm told to watch when I go in the house at night. You know how it works. Um now, the last couple of vape things I have to show you here. <laughs> oh, I need a I need a coffee before I go into this one. I, I, oh, this is going to be fun. Flashy vapor, the fave, uh, fave as some people call it, uh, flashy vapor. Uh, is a, a German RTA uh, that has been around since the dawn of time. And as far as I can tell, I don't think it's changed since the dawn of time. Um, it is, it it, it's on a pedestal. A lot of people put it up there. Basically, if you have one, you you keep it forever type thing. And I've never ever seen the fascination. I've never owned one. I've only had a vape on them, at a couple of vape events when I won in Germany, one in Poland. So, um, the, there's a, a little group that I'm in, the, the, the cucumbers, and there's a deceptively attractive young man. <laughs> I, I was going to say I'm kidding. I'll say no more on that one. Um, you can't buy them here because they will not ship them here. They won't ship them outside Germany because if, you know, in Germany they have to have the proof of age and all that kind of stuff. So they... I got somebody to buy one uh, and, and I gave them the money and they shipped over and, and now I have this. So this is, the, to give it its full title, it's the Flashy Vapor version 4.5 plus S. I think that's right. I think that's right. Hang on, I'm just checking up here. Um, 4. Point, no, sorry. The 4.5S Plus. Um, now, now, um, th this is, this is like something I would have reviewed from 2012, 2013. It is for, this shouldn't work. This shouldn't work. 
Uh, basically, you can vape this mouth to lung. Uh, you, you can take it true mouth to lung. Um, single coil. Yeah, you could probably put dual coils in this if you wanted to. Um, it, you can go restrict it, direct lung. You can direct lung it. Um, this one holds 4.5 milliliters of juice and 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 it and it really sh this is the small one this is the small one the s and it really shouldn't work but it does this is my third build in this and it just works i've done a mouth to lung um I, i've done a, a my benchmark coil i've now got a fuse clapped in, in here just now and it's worked and gives great flavour the whole time. <sighs> Clouds, bro. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly show you this. Um, now, there's a, the, the, the trouble when you, you when you buy something that a lot of people really, really like, you have to be careful because if you don't do things the exact same way they do, they get very upset. So, um, I apologize if my build and the way I wick my fev or my flashy vapor, it's not the way you do it, but I'm getting an excellent vape from it. So there, um, but I mean, this is the deck. It's just a simple two post, two post affair. I mean, look at the size of it. It's bloody huge. It, it, it's massive. It's really, really tall. Um, and there's the tank here. I don't know if you can see. So it just sits in here, and this is the top of the tank here. You can see I've got a, a, a screw. A, there's a hole there. I've taken a screw out. You can put different size screws in here to get different type of airflow. And you can blank this side off, or I could open that up and put another screw in there if I wanted to. Um, you can see that, so you've got your central bore there, that's where your air flows is. And then on either side, you've got like um, feeders. So when you take a draw, you know, it's automatically pulling juice down through those feeders as well. Um, and it just goes on just like this. I'll just pop that on there. And that, sorry about the lip gunk, don't look at the lip gunk, and, and that's it. It's, it's such a st It's different, but it just works. I would, we were having this conversation in my Facebook chat, we were talking about how it used to be back, or it used to be the mentality, I used to have this mentality that unless you had a small condensed chamber, mouth to lung didn't work properly didn't work. You got better flavour with a smaller, more condensed chamber. There have been two atties in the past year where I've had to eat humble pie because they worked even though they didn't have small chambers. This one doesn't have a small condensed chamber and it works really well. I will do a review for this. I'll get a lot of hate for it because, because so many people love it. But right now, it works really, really well. I, I am thoroughly enjoying it. Thoroughly enjoying it. Oh, 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 oh. Soon. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. We're going to Gamani. Yes. They we're going to the Hall of Vape in... Germany. <sighs> Sorry, the drugs are wearing off. Uh, right, the only other thing I've got left to show you. <laughs> uh, I'll, t I'll take this off of here just now. Um, I'm sure a lot of you that watch my videos have already heard of this company. Um, out of the States. Uh, Travis, uh, th this is Dendro Mods. Uh, this is called the Mick. Yeah, it's Mick. It's not Mac. It's Mick. It's MC. Mick Gripperson. <laughs> it's the best mod name ever. The Mick Gripperson. Um, and and this is just oh my. Uh, let's let's get. Hopefully this 
shows up here. Uh, getting the get the focus, get the focus. This is a DNA sixty, um, a DNA sixty, single eighteen six fifty. Uh, this is not CNC. This is all done by hand. It's hand shaped. Um, it is bonkers. It, it's absolutely bonkers. We got. A, I'm sure this is a mod dog five ten up the top here. If I remember right, and there we are down the bottom. We've got our little buttons and all the rest of it. Now, um, watch this. So, big paw. The thumb just sits right in there perfectly. Then this bit sits in the cusp of your hand there. Then your finger just goes right up here. And that is so comfortable and it's just it's really really nice it's very very expensive <laughs> it's very very expensive um, I think this is $777 this costs um, there's a lot of people that are go daft for them and um, there's a couple of there's, there's a couple of things I will mention in the review that I'm not a fan of, but the actual fit and finishing and using the mod and the wood and and I will oh, uh, <laughs> yes that is just gorgeous. There shall be a review for the Mick Gripperson by Dendro Mods coming very, very soon. Um, I think that's about it. How long have I been talking for? Record time, 32 minutes. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Um, on the turntable, on the turntable, I'm afraid we're still, still, sorry. I'm just still listening to Prodigy Fat of the Land. Constantly, constantly. Um, so I'm thoroughly enjoying that. Um, I I hope everybody that went to Vape Expo uh, weekend past had a good time. Um, I didn't see any videos or photos or I, or I didn't see anything uh, online. Um, so I can't tell you if it was great or bad or, or what it was like. Uh, I can't tell you. Um, but I hope the people that went did have a good time. I hope you did have a good time. And I hope those of you that are coming along to Stuttgart at the end of the month, um, I'll, I'll, I'll see you there. I'll get a vlog done before then. I must. I must do a vlog before then. Um, other things I should mention. Other things I should mention. Oh! Right. This segment of the vlog... This segment of the vlog was brought to you by Crack. I've actually the reason I've gone quiet is I've just I've just ran five things through my head that I want to say about somebody in their company. I just realized that I can't say them publicly because it'll sound really bad. Unless you're from Fife, uh, then you won't get what I'm on about. Um, yes, uh, young Marcus, Marcus Whitus, the guy that does Lemon Clark, Lemon Clark, 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 Crack. Uh, I've been talking about this stuff for ages. Um, he now has his own Facebook group. Can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Crackheads? Is it Crackheads? I can hear his voice now. He's, I can hear his dulcet tones now, just saying something. Um, Crackheads, that's it. Look for a group called Crack Space Heads. Crackheads. Not only does he do juice. Now, Mark is uh, the man that I bought my Prusa i3 Mark II 3D printer from. I sold it back to him last couple of weeks ago because um, he has many, many uh, 3D printers. Uh, because those of you that know, you'll know, you'll have seen him about the Facebook groups. You know, he does the the little uh, battery holders like this. 
He's doing new ones, multicolored print things like this. He's got that going on. He's also doing, um, he does battery holders, but he doesn't do coffee. He should do, he does everything else. He's also doing these. Please don't fall to bits. Please don't fall to bits. Little uh, 3D printed uh, vape tidies. And you can customise them and everything. They're really, really smart. Um, <coughs> I don't know if he's started a list or started selling the organisers yet. But they do. He's got battery organisers, uh, mod holders. He's got loads of stuff. Go and check out his group. He is... Um, I would never say this to his face. He's a very, very nice man and he'll never see you wrong. He'll never see you wrong. Um, and just in case he is listening, you're a dick. Um, so, there we go. Uh, that is my bit for there. If you're interested in the juice, you can also go along to Just Add Nick and you'll be able to pick it up there. Uh, I will also do a little plug for myself. <laughs> No, I won't. I won't. I can't. I've got no account. I will not mention Regency Vapor UK. <laughs> it would be really, really bad of me if I was to plug the, the company that I'm working for and the juice we're selling at any point during this video. So I will not do that and uh, we shall move on to the next thing. <laughs> This is the man that said, this is the man that said, Todd's reviews will have nothing to do with the juice business that I'm involved with. I lied. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I've got, I've got a car that I want to buy bits for now. I need to make some, I never make any money at this, so I need to make some money now. Um, but uh, yeah, fun and games aside, um, the Regency stuff's going really well. A massive order went over to Norway. Uh, so if you're in Norway, you can buy it over there. Um, it's, it's all on the Facebook page. Uh, Regency Vapor UK. Anyway. Um, what have I missed? What have I missed? It's coming up for 40 minutes now. I didn't want to talk for this long. I've, I've covered everything I need to cover. Oh, I want to say a huge, huge... Mwah! to the one and only Colin. Colin is is just, I don't know if you'll be able to see, will you be able to see this? Come with me, come in a voyage of discovery. Um, <laughs> that, uh, there was, um, I did one of my lunchtime live things and I was complaining about the fact that um, I couldn't find a 510 drip tip adapter. So a couple of days later, this arrived in the post. We've got a little hammer there. And in case of emergency, a little 510 drip tip adapter. Uh, we also have, uh, it's nice to share these wee things. It's nice to share these things. I got this from a lovely man uh, called Matt. Matt sent me this from over in the States. Uh, this is a spirit level, which is very, very old. I'm sorry that's not in focus. But it's a lovely bit of wood and brass and um, the company is, oh god I've forgotten, is it Matheson's? Who are originally a Glaswegian company but also in Edinburgh. So that, that's that's one of the gifts that I got this month. So Matt, thank you once again. Um, I, oh, stay, stay, please don't fall over. Don't fall over. I also got a new car. Dominic sent me a new car, which was really, really funny. Thank you, Dominic. Um, and, and, and actually, this is some of the other stuff that just lies about here. Sorry, this is just, yeah. You don't need to see that, do you? Um, I will also, before I go, before I go, um, thank you to the people that organized the Glasgow School of Vape. I'll get murdered for, for cutting her off. Uh, thank you to the people that organised the Glasgow School of Fape. Um, I had a great time. I wasn't in the 
my head was wasn't really in it when I went, but I was there for a couple, two or three hours. Uh, I enjoyed catching up with everybody. I'm sorry if I didn't remember people's names. I'm sorry if I seemed kind of distant, but uh, yeah, boring. Uh, but I did have a great time, and I think it was a small social gathering, and and I really hope they do another one next year because they are good. They are good, and I appreciate the effort that goes into organising that event. So you know who you are. Uh, and thank you once again. I'm going to go now. I'm going to push the stop button um, because, um, yeah, that that's how I imagine everybody that's watching this video. They've just fallen asleep. Reviews shall be coming. And uh, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for continuing to watch after all these years. And we shall catch up with you very, very soon. Bye for now.